Yo, it's my Saturday, and I, I don't really have a whole lot of time to deal with no fuckery. Not today. Not today. But uh, today what I want to get into is I want to answer the question, is J.B. Gunner racist? Now, when I bring up that question, it's for a couple reasons. Obviously, people continue to ask me in the comment section as if it's like, <laughs> are you a racist? Why do you care? Do I like seafood? No. Do you care? No. So why would you care if I like other races? Why would you care if I think I'm... Why would you care, I guess, if I had hatred or dislike for other races? It seems weird, right? Like, why would you care what a complete stranger thinks about you? I don't come to your channels and say, are you a fattest? Do you like, do you dislike fat people? The answer to why, as to why I don't do that is to because it would be pointless. Why would I care what you, the individual, thinks about fat people? But to answer your question, I am anti-liberal. Since 90% of one individual group, you know what group you are, Tyrone, is a Democrat, which means you want to kill our babies, abortion. It means that you want to take my money through taxes, whatever. Um, there's a million different things that Democrats want that make me hate them. So if you point me out a group and say nine out of every 10 of those people believe in the very things that you despise, that you think are bad for you and your family. Let me ask you, if that was the case, would you hate them? If you believed an entire other group of people in general, not 100%, but in general, was completely bad for you, their politics was bad for you, they wanted complete bad for you, and you hated those belief systems. You hated those actions. Would it be safe to say, would it be fair to say you would hate them? So when you ask me a dumb question without analyzing it, that's why you're sitting there, duh, I, acting like you don't know. The answer to your question is yes. Yes, I am. I hate and despise and have a disdain for anyone that wishes me harm. For any group that wishes me harm. Now, does that mean 100% of the people out of that group wish me harm? No. See, Citizen Man, yesterday, okay, he, uh told you guys something I've never told you before because I was never going to mention it until he did about a year ago citizen man came to me privately and asked me for a loan so he could pay his rent I did not loan it to him I wanted to give it to him so instead what I did was I hired citizen man to do a job for me that way he didn't have to stress on paying it back. Now, the only reason I'm mentioning this is because he mentioned it. You've never heard me mention it before. What was Citizen Man's point when he said that to you folks? Citizen Man was telling you, no, nah, JB looks at people individually. Because Citizen Man is part of that group that in that in that has the 90 percent as many of you know citizen man is a black man but i judge citizen man on his merits i judge citizen man and many others like citizen man including brass man and many others on the content of the character but i still look at the group of people as a whole as a bad thing do you understand? The ocean can be a very dangerous place. 
It doesn't mean that I don't find the dolphins beautiful. Do you see my point? In that big sea of danger, I and, and shit, I can look at a dolphin and say, that's fucking awesome. I can recognize the dolphin's intelligence. Splendor. But the answer to your question is, yes, I am. And exactly how does that affect your life? How does that change your life? If your group of people wishes harm on me and my country, then I dislike you. And my question is always going to be the same. Since it hurts your asshole so much, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? The answer is nothing. The answer is nothing. Now today's my day off, other than uh, my live stream, which I'm going to do later. So I'm going to sit here and I'm going to play this goddamn Resident Evil. I'm going to play, play my game, enjoy my day. But I want to make this clear. If you hear me go after or say things to people like Maurice Delk, that is him individually. Do you understand what I'm saying? I can think Maurice Delk is the N-word, is jive, is a grifter, and not think Citizen Man is one. Do you see what I'm saying? Anyone that actually sees the difference, you see the clear difference between an actual conservative, intelligent black man, citizen man, and a yo, 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 Maurice Delk. One is an intelligent young man that fought for our country. One is a yo, 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 ignorant sack of shit. So yes, I consider the ignorant sack of shit to be that word. And if you've got a problem with it, do something about it. But at the end of the day, what I would what I would suggest for you people that are so triggered by my preferences, by whether I like a certain group of people or not, don't watch my content. Because there's nothing you can do about it. Every single time y'all flag me and knock me off, I come right back. And it will always be that way. And let me explain this to you. Another thing that you guys say is, well, if you said that around me, I would do this or that. Well, let me explain something to you. I'm glad, I'm glad you would openly admit that you're a group of violent savages. Point proven. Point proven. Because oddly enough, one of the reasons I dislike you is that you're only 12.4% of the country, but responsible for 54% of the homicides, 60% of violent crimes. You're not humans, most of you. Do you see my point? But so your response to that is, we'll do a violent crime on you. Exactly. Are you getting my point now? Are you seeing it? Is it sinking in? So no, yes. No, I don't like you. Yes, you have to deal with it or do something to me. But either way, it's not going to change my opinion about you for the good. If you want to change my opinion about you for the good, act more like Citizen Man. Because my opinion of him is very, very high. My respect for him is very, very high. Same thing with Brass Man, same thing with Tony Hogan, same thing with many people in my inner circle. But you, the butt hurt one, the jive one, the one that wants to hurt me for my opinion, you're exactly what I've always said you were. You get my point. So, the answer to your question, is JB going to erase us? Maybe, yes. By your definition, probably. And, and, 
I'm going to go play Resident Evil, guys. I'll see you in a little bit. Anyway, hey, Mo. Hope you're have, you having a wonderful day. Later on, I'm going to show you the stream with Citizen Man and Mo. And we're going to point out the details. We're going to point out the differences between a stand-up black man and a ghetto sack of shit. You see my point? So now, all of you guys can congregate together. Whether it's Mo and Toasty or whatever. And you can continuously try to expose me as being a oasis. I'm telling you right now I am. There's nothing to expose anymore. I'm telling you right now I am and there's nothing you could do about it. There's nothing you will do about it. But accept it. Time for me to enjoy my day. Y'all have a good one. If y'all want to... <laughs> Y'all want to show some love to the show, hit the links down below. Thank you to Cheesy Bear, by the way. I got your Christmas gift this morning. Appreciate you. Thank you.